So after I first picked Kel'Thuz up, they took three frontliners that can self-cleanse. So I've got them right where I want them in terms of having them overcompensate with their heroes to all be counterpicks to Kel'Thuz on. Which leaves the balance of power in my team's favor because now the other four can go kill him. Right? So I could just do Q build then. So I'm less about the combos. Because that's not going to work anyway. I'll just be sustained mage. I say that, and we nearly assassinate Brightwing. Yo, good fight, good fight. Q build at 20 is sick. Yeah, like the 20 Q is so good, even without the full Q build. So, Q build 20 is in extremely sick. Q build at 20 is like cocktail shrimps left out overnight sick. That's how sick it is. That is very sick, I can't confirm. Is that Yorel and Yorel? Yep. Kind of hard to get close against Hanzo. I'm thinking strip shields because of Mayev, but I could also do phylactery. I'll do phylactery. Phylactery kind of sounds like arboreal love don't you think <laughs> like a tree hugger go dings yeah we go dings a fateful choice They took Bruiser, we didn't. Oh no! Big fail. Nice. Double kill, so many gems. That was good. What 16 am I going for? The Arcane Echoes. It's not needed, 
Yeah. I usually, I didn't even, did you see that I didn't even uh, queue it up? Because it's just kind of bad. The cooldown's already so short. But like, aiming for rooted targets is not so good because they have unstoppable. I think power of the ice crown will be best. Nice try. <laughs> Yeah, go light on the copium. I, I I don't know exactly what's coming. Maybe just a balance patch, but with finally some feedback. Perhaps. Because they pretty much... Oh, nice! A shot on a Moonwell that's now invincible. Oh, thank you, Yorel. Nice. You're all bullies. You serve me well. Almost level 10. What 10 do I get? Frost Blast. It's fine. We should uh, pay and get bruiser. Oh, maybe we just get bruiser. These mercenaries to our service. How how did my Q just miss? What? <laughs> you walked, but how can I walk during a Q? It's like it shot it from a new position. I cast Q and then I walked. Your killing spree was wonderful. Imagine killing someone that has a a flak tree. They played ping pong with me, yeah. No life steal anymore, Saj. I think I let him finish. He has the greatest camp clear of all time. Yo, why are we hard diving? Right before the spiders come, we do a hard dive through Bruiser. Why did I even follow? I'm upset most of all at myself. They followed up on your zoning alt. Yeah, I don't care about this alt. It's like, oh, now I get it. Oh, okay, okay. I don't care about this ult at all. It's 50 seconds. They all have unstoppable except Hanzo. I cast it. No reason at all. Like B BFG. They broke music in WC3 PTR. No music plays. Ah, oh, I just get so angry and sad about these things. I know there's going to be a big list of things that are going to be broken. Oh my god. 
Yo, we're stacked though. Well struck. Merlin just jumped in with 26 gems, 28 gems. Are they paying bot? Nice engage, but bright ring dead. Oh no, it's not bright ring dead. Six more globes. We have 11 gems, that's a problem. We get 16. Let us find Two camps. To our service. Two camps and 16. Great to see Blitz doing something, but is this going to split the community badly? I'm not gonna be split. Well I'm gonna play W3 champions. This talent is my gift. We need to make a, a cult. What? I will freeze blood in your veins. Before kill those are. I hear ya. Ugh. Yo, Zerato going ham. Yeah, there is a real risk that that there is a split up but that split already exists you're there's only two kinds of people in the world those that know about w3 champions and those that find that don't know about it or didn't try it and i don't think this is gonna actually change that much i guess your fear would be what if people that are currently enjoying w3 champions now prefer battlenet and i guess that is a risk but I don't think it will change anything at the top MMR. Because why would top MMR possibly enjoy Battle that more? Oh, I, the best thing I can see coming out of it is actually... Uh, the best thing I can actually see coming out of it... Oh my god. <laughs> is that I can now have a good place to play requests again for Fun Day Sunday and Fun Day Friday. Because W3 Champions matchmaking is too good. I hope that Balonet matchmaking is just bad enough that even if I win 10 in a row, I still keep meeting newbies so that I can uh, style on them with challenges. Because after like five games of W3C, you're exactly where you belong. If you win five games, you're meeting happy. So I don't really have that space anymore. Battle net matchmaking was nice and bad when reports came out, so I was able to do a lot of fun day Friday on one account. Yes, right away. And here, here like there are so many things that would need to be fixed to make Battle net fun. Oh. Including but not exclusively. The servers are terrible. It's really bad servers. Oh. The Scarlet Crusade will not 
God, we really were behind keep again, huh? Why does this keep happening to me, chat? I'm better than this. <laughs> My God. I'm better than this. I don't dive behind keeps, even when... If your friend told you to jump off a bridge, would you? Oh my god. A double kill. Justice has come for you. The killing spree over. No more fort diving. No purse. Let no corruption take root. Who's up for destroying this fort? See, they have too many Kel'thuz out counter picks. They had nothing for Muradin. MVP. Are there low health heroes in the water below? What? <laughs> Only if they said you're ahead and there's free kills off the bridge. 